Google Ads Portfolio Bid Strategies, formerly known as Flexible Bid Strategies, allow advertisers to combine several campaigns into one AI-driven bid strategy. So in this video, we wanna go over what portfolio bid strategies are, where you can set them up, and that what you can and cannot do when using this type of bid strategy. I'm in the campaign view within our demo account. Hopefully I can stay within our channel and not have to jump around to a few other accounts because we try not to blur anything out. Now there are a couple ways that you can set up a portfolio bid strategy. And I'm gonna try to show you a few of the ways where you can create them within Google Ads. First would be to go over to Tools, Find Budgets and Bidding. It might be closed for you, so you may have to click on this little arrow to expand it. And then you would want to head to Bid Strategies. And right away, we do see Portfolio Bid Strategies. This is also the same location you will want to come to after you create your bid strategies, and then you can see and adjust the columns to really assess the performance of this portfolio bid strategy. But of course, it's brand new for us. So let's go ahead and create a new portfolio bid strategy. If I move my mouse over, you see portfolio bid strategies apply to these six automated bid strategies. And if you're pretty new to Google Ads and not really familiar with automated bid strategies, I suggest you watch this video first. And I also understand that some of these live under other automated bid strategies. Like if you choose maximize conversions, there's the optional setting for target CPA. If you're building a campaign and you choose maximize conversion value, there's the optional setting for target ROAS. We understand that these automated bid strategies might not be fully separated anymore, but those optional settings for some of the automated bid strategies still apply and are still optional for portfolio bid strategies. So again, check out that other video if you really need to understand automated bid strategies first. So for now, I'm just gonna choose one, go ahead and type a name, and then we can choose our campaigns. Now you don't have to use everything that they show you. If you have a specific group of campaigns that share a very common goal, you may wanna consider lumping those together. So let me just select a few, say these dynamic search ad campaigns we used for other videos. I believe I said in the intro, hopefully I did, that portfolio bid strategies are AI driven. With that in mind, we do try to lump specific campaigns together and not everything all in one. If the user intent is similar based upon what they're searching for, are there common themes, like for example, the one where I'm moving my mouse right now, Halloween, a specific holiday. If you have several campaigns created for the same holiday, you may wanna lump those together if they share a similar goal. So certain holidays or limited run type campaigns could potentially be another reason you may wanna use a portfolio bid strategy. Even another example could be volume. Maybe DSA isn't the best example. I typically don't have problems with volume when you're using DSA. So let me just select these three. Let's say you have a few campaigns, brand or non-brand. They're just low volume, but you already have these campaigns created. Instead of having to go and do a complete restructure and try to combine all those campaigns into one so they can share data, you can create a portfolio bid strategy between those lower volume campaigns. That is also assuming that they all have the same goal. Keep the goal of the campaign in mind. That should always be top priority. But if we group any low volume search campaigns into the same portfolio bid strategy, we can leverage the same data across all the campaigns, thus avoiding a potential restructure that I mentioned. So let's assume these three have the same goal, potentially low volume, I wanna leverage the data. I have them selected, I can click done. Remember before I even selected the campaigns and chose the name, I already picked the bid strategy. So maximize conversions will be the shared portfolio bid strategy. However, we still get the option here to set a target CPA if we want to, we don't have to. It's the same optional setting than if you're setting up normal automated bidding within your campaigns. Now what makes it convenient is that Google also lets you create a shared budget directly from this setup as well. We do have a separate video about shared budgets. You can check that out here. But let's say between these three campaigns, I wanna spend $50 per day. Yes, it is daily. I'm not setting a lifetime budget. So if all that is good, we can click save. You will notice it will take some time, just like any other automated bid strategy you set at the individual campaign level. But within this bid strategies page, we can see we can click on the blue button and start creating another one if we want to. This time, let's go with maximize clicks. If I choose select campaigns, skipping the name part, this time I will choose my DSA campaigns. I can click done. I should probably just type something here. It won't let me save it anyway. I can choose a maximum CPC limit and then click save. So I did that to show you that you can have multiple portfolio bid strategies within the account. Now I'll admit my naming conventions are pretty poor. I just did it just to quickly move along. But typically we like to name our bid strategies that reflect closer to the type that we have selected. If I did choose a target CPA, I would put what that target CPA is in the bid strategy name. 
if I maxed out a certain CPC, I would want to include it within my bid strategy name too. Again, it all goes back up to the main goal. I want to understand what the goal was of this portfolio bid strategy to see if I'm meeting it when reviewing performance after things launch. And as I said earlier, go ahead and adjust your columns, segment the information to really see if this bid strategy is working for the campaigns within those portfolio bid strategies. For now, I want to go back to the campaign view to show you another way where you can set up portfolio bid strategies. Now, if you highlight over one of your campaigns, it's got to be around the campaign name because you will see the gear icon, which represents your campaign settings. If you click on it, find the section for your bidding, and then you will want to go and change your bid strategy. Scrolling down a little bit, we'll want to change the bid strategy. We'll want to select a bid strategy directly. And then in this small link here, we can use a portfolio bid strategy. So automatically, they're going to have you create a new one if you want to. But since we already have a couple created, you do have the option to choose an existing portfolio strategy. Notice that they're showing us just the one option, but I created two. That is because we have maximize click selected. And this DSA one I created is the only other maximize click portfolio bid strategy that I have created within this Google ads account. If I went ahead and changed it, let's do maximize conversions, use a portfolio strategy and existing. Here we see the other option if I do want to include it with those other campaigns. But again, you do have the option to create a whole new portfolio strategy. I'm going to cancel out of settings. No, I didn't change it. I'm going to choose this one specifically. You see, it's a video campaign. It's YouTube. Certain campaigns with specific marketing objectives like brand awareness and reach don't allow you to change your bid strategy. So in this specific one, I cannot change it to any of the automated bid strategies. I'm stuck with maximum CPV. And as we saw, Maximum CPV is not available for any sort of portfolio bid strategies. So sometimes you may be stuck, but that's mostly going to be for the YouTube side. I don't know if you saw when I chose maximize clicks when creating the DSA portfolio bid strategy, display campaigns were there. So you can apply this to more than just search. Heading back here to close things out, portfolio bid strategies are pretty easy to set up. And they really should only be used if you have very specific goals in mind for several campaigns. Just even two campaigns. If they have the same goal, potentially the same user intent, you're going to be reviewing the exact same metrics to determine success or failure, and they're already using the same bid strategy, why not lump them together so they can share the information? Google makes it really easy to come back to this section and review performance just like you would at the campaign level. Portfolio bid strategies aren't anything new, so there's a good chance you may already be using these within your account. If so, we'd love to hear how they have been working for you, so let us know in the comments. But if portfolio bid strategies are brand new to you, we're also here to answer any questions. So let us know those in the comments as well. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.